go to uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on we're gonna test it on to X resolution okay let's check this out there you go we are in the game let's check this out what do we see here not bad okay that's not bad bro it's, this is kind of really impressive on 2x resolution I will have to play this uh, game at 3x resolution for all of you because it's easier to see the difference between the diff uh, different chipsets like mid-range chipsets because I've been testing also this game on uh, 3x resolution full HD so many enemies let's check here a different stage the stage is running full speed I don't even know why I'm uh, showing it right now because you don't see any difference at 2x resolution it's run running on many different mid-range chipsets at full speed check this out beautiful and we have this stage is it, where is this stage ah this is exactly the same with the enemies there let's try to kill them enemies with the enemies is running full speed you can destroy even the tv what a great game what a great game anyway let's go for the end tested on 3x resolution that should be fine 3x resolution run it okay let's go here we go let's see here so it dropped of course you can expect that it, it dropped here so from 30 fps now it's running 20 fps 10 fps difference so this uh, i'm gonna just test it for half minute and this stage 17 16 fps 13 fps 18 check this out heavy heavy resolution bro this uh, full hd is very heavy resolution 20 fps 22 shoot whatever you see in front of you get get cover uh, let's go now run a different stage let's go with this one how this stage is running at 3x resolution let's check this out 20 so i think the 20 and uh, 19 20 fps is average for uh, 3x resolution since here also is running there you go now it's better without the enemies but i don't count this without the enemies of course i repeat again with some uh, smaller areas and less demanding uh, fights uh, the fps probably will even sometimes on 3x go to 30 fps which we can see even right now check it out on 3x it, it, we even saw full speed 30 fps it needs optimization it needs optimization still i'm using all the versions of the dolphin because new versions they don't improve at all maybe even decrease the performance and just just for the end we're going to show you right now the temperatures 40.5 let's check it out can we get 41 so daemon ps2 pro emulator was heavier it had 41.6 this one has 40 almost 41 there you go 41 so no overheating issues it does heat up but there's no overheating issues with the snapdragon 750 with emulation thank you for watching this video subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, shop online with my links have a great day and leave in your in leave in the comment section your own opinions about this phone about this chip snapdragon 750g redmi note 95g pro peace Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum, it's your Tekinja Muhammad, here we go finally, uh, test Redmi Note 9 5G Pro version with the Snapdragon 750, uh, testing Dolphin uh, games at 3x resolution ninjas, uh, this is a gaming uh, comparison reference footage, if you want to check lower resolution, lower graphics, check it on my YouTube channel, right now this uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword uh, on Snapdragon 750 on 3x resolution is running average 9-10 FPS ninjas, shocking, absolutely shocking, <laughs>
<laughs> By the way, I'm using exactly the same setup. Everything is exactly the same uh, regarding the basically the build, the settings with the different chipset, different smartphones which I used. Uh, this game right now, I'm not impressed by the Snapdragon 750. More impressed with the uh, Dimensity 800 and 820, which you will see uh, in comparison. There's going to be a comparison test, and you're going to see shocking uh, results. Shocking results. I'm not going to tell you right now, but you're going to see it by yourself. We're going to test a few games. I go another game, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on 3x resolution, Snapdragon 750, Redmi Note 9 5G Pro. Check this out. What I'm seeing here, average 19 uh, FPS ninjas, 19 FPS average here. Here should be a little bit better, 22. Still average 19 FPS, sometimes I get 18, sometimes I get 20, 21. So basically that is 19 FPS average. Three X resolution, Snapdragon 750. The buying links will be description. Okay, Resident Evil 4 GameCube version on three X resolution. Check this out. What are you seeing right now? Let me just check. 17, 18 FPS, 19, 18 FPS, 19. So I think it's average here 19 FPS for this game. 18, 19, 18. Let's go in the house. Now it's running 20, 22. Open GLAP. Twenty seven here, twenty eight. There you go, it's running at thirty FPS now in the house, but it's gonna slow down right now outside. Show this out. There you go, next to the enemies, back to eighteen. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from Chicka Chicka Ching 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 China? That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!